My name is Paul. I play a lot of video games with my group of friends. Recently, we've been playing Among Us most nights. Every time my friends and I play video games together, we always used our mics and a lot of times, we just trolled other players. We were playing Among Us and had a lot of discussions about who the killers could be. Me and my two friends, whose names were Harry and Wayne, thought it was the guy named Sean, and so did the rest of the lobby. We eventually voted him to be ejected. During the discussions, Sean was getting more and more aggressive, insisting it wasn't him who was the killer. And me and my two friends actually found it quite funny. After the game, Harry had received a message from a guy named Sean saying he wasn't the killer and we shouldn't have ejected him and so on. Wayne thought it would be funny to invite Sean into our lobby to troll him the whole game and tell the rest of the players in the discussion that we think Sean's the killer. So that's what we did. We played the two games with the Sean guy. Each time trolling him and saying that he was the killer and getting him ejected. Sean eventually left our lobby and we didn't play with him again that night. I'm a light sleeper and wake up to the slightest of sounds. I woke up around 2 a.m. by the sound of a car. I looked out my window and I saw a car parked just outside my house. The car was still running, but no one got out, no one got in the car. I looked around and saw my street to be empty. Just before trying to go back to sleep, my computer started up. I went over to my computer and there was a blue screen. In the middle of the blue screen was an icon that said, open for discussion. I clicked on it and it revealed a very gory photo of a man who was cut in half and underneath was written, you have been ejected. I tried to move the mouse and turn off my computer but it didn't work. The only thing to do was to look at the gruesome photo. My computer did turn off eventually, and as soon as it did, that car that was outside my house slowly drove off. The next day I woke up and saw a text from my friends Harry and Wayne, and they both said they had similar experiences that they received weird pictures on the computer and phones. Pictures of people cut in half. I asked them both if they think it was something to do with that guy we were trolling. They both didn't know what to think. I thought that Sean guy somehow found out where we lived and hacked our devices. What scares me is how real the photos were and how he knew where me and my friends lived and was able to hack our devices so easily. She has dreams to be an envy so she's starving you know cover